This is Our Lady of Victory Church on North Avenue in Thomas, Ohio, broadcasting via FM radio 93.7, also live streaming via our parish Facebook page. We are about to begin the celebration of the 8.30 a.m. Mass for the Epiphany of Our Lord. A reminder to anyone who may be praying with us from the parking lot, at communion time, a minister will come out to the covered walkway to distribute communion to anyone praying with us from the parking lot. At that time, please come forward to receive communion. Then kindly return to your vehicle for the remainder of this celebration. For any unable to come forward, once, there are, once those who are able have done so, then please drive up to the covered walkway and a minister will bring communion to you while you are in your vehicle. Again, then simply return to your spot in the parking lot for the remainder of this celebration. Thank you, and we will begin short. Once again, good morning everyone and welcome. Please stand and together we'll sing Angels from the Realms of Glory and it's number 109.
so we come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. The light is shown in our darkness. The Savior has been revealed. Through the times we have denied this, we call these to mind, and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star. Grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. I ask our children to please come forward. Okay, so you know what we celebrate today? Well, yeah, it is. It's, it's a mini Christmas, if you will. 
Um, years and years and years and years and years ago, before they picked December 25th, this was the day that they really celebrated Christmas on, Epiphany. So, we're going to celebrate Christmas again today. And it's not that we're so much getting a gift first as we bring gifts. So what gift would you give Jesus? Gold? Oh, really? Oh, where do you have that at your house? <laughs> I love your dress. Okay. Well, but the only gift Jesus wants is us. And then he gives that back to us. And we're better. So as you go forward today, think of how you're going to give yourself to Jesus. Go with our prayer, our love, and our support. Oh, you give him a prayer. All right. All right. Y'all go now. Thank you. 
Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod. Behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? 
We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, that as we have rejoiced at the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, so by leave of God's mercy, we announce to you also the joy of his resurrection, who is our Savior. On the 22nd day of February, we'll fall Ash Wednesday, and the beginning of the fast of the most sacred Lenten season. On the ninth day of April, you will celebrate with joy Easter Day, the Paschal Feast of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the 21st day of May will be the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the 28th day of May, the Feast of Pentecost. On the eleventh day of June, the feast of the most holy body and blood of Christ. On the third day of December, the first Sunday of the advent of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom is honor and glory forever and ever.
Certainly in some cases, the lights have been turned off outside and inside. The tree or the trees are down, either put away for another year or waiting outside to be recycled and disposed of. It's time to get back to the business of life as we know it these days. Work, school, getting the house in order, all sorts of things that occupied our time before December 25th, things that were briefly interrupted but put on the back burner, now front and center again. Christmas happened, check. And now, perhaps, we wait for the next reminder of, of things like salvation, redemption, even change and conversion. Yet here, here in this place, we're still immersed in the unfolding of this Christmas story. And not just because trees and lights and stars and flowers and greens and, and tiny figures depicting our version of what took place still occupies space here. We're still immersed in the unfolding of this Christmas story because there's still so much of it to fully understand. So much of it to allow to sink in, to impact us, to change us, and not just for a few short weeks, but for the rest of our earthly lives. <clears throat> These kings, or, or magi, or astrologers, these three individuals who represent the vastness and diversity of humanity are very much a part of this story. For they remind each of us how each and every one of us is drawn to, to something more than ourselves. Unlike Herod, who was focused on himself, who was concerned about his position and security to the point of fearing a mere infant. These magi were searching for something. No, truth be told, they were searching for someone who they knew deep down inside would complete them, becoming the more that they sought, not more gold, not more frankincense, not more myrrh, but the more of the substance and meaning of life. And they were not going to rest until they found that more. They followed a star. But the more they saw, <laughs> excuse me, the more they sought was what inspired them in the first place, motivated them in the first place to do just that, to make that choice, to set out on that journey. My friends, week after week after week, there's something that grabs our attention, something that sparks our interest deep inside. Now, it may not be as startling and unusual as a huge star in the sky, but it's no less impactful, no less stirring. And as a result, week after week after week, you and I and others, we come to the crib week after week. We come expecting something, looking and searching for something, anticipating something. And while there's still times where perhaps we're unable to name that something, we continue to search. We look and we long earnestly for that more. Week after week after week, we come here to the crib, knowing that it's only here that we have a chance of discovering it, of encountering it. You see, it's, it's here that we look for, that we see, and that we anticipate that great encounter with someone. Like the Magi, we lay at the feet of the king, your king and my king, whatever we bring as gift, our anxiety, our joy our gratitude, our despair, our fears as well as our hopes and our dreams, for these are part of who we are. And what greater gift can we give to our King than our very selves? Not just our, our unblemished selves, but even our scarred and disfigured selves. So yes, we, we lay at his feet, no matter what shape we're in, 
For it's only when we leave a part of ourselves with him are we able, like the Magi, to take what it is he gives back to us and take it away with us. It's only then that, that the joy we give can be returned to us as greater joy. That the despair we give can be given back to us, transformed into hope. That the anxiety and fear we give can be returned to us and transformed into peace and calm. Yes, just like the Magi. In this continual unfolding of this Christmas story, our crib holds for us a sacred encounter, just as it held for the Magi centuries ago. An encounter that, as it changed the Magi, changed their lives, changed the course and direction they had pursued prior to that holy and sacred encounter, and filled them with new purpose, showed them a new course, a new direction. So to us are we changed, redirected, given a new purpose, and provided precisely with the more that we long for, the more we search for, the more we seek. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In Christ, God's light has been revealed to all the nations. May this holy light illumine our words of prayer this day and always. For God's holy church, that her light may beckon a rich diversity of peoples to come and be heirs with us, members of the one body of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our For nations covered by the clouds of ethnic and racial hatred, that in this new year their hearts may rejoice at the dawn of peace and the flourishing of righteousness, especially in the Ukraine, as well as portions of Africa and the Americas, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For, child, for children abused or neglected, for parents in difficulty or danger, for the victims and survivors of clergy sexual abuse in our church, that the Christian community and others may offer gifts of care and advocacy, intervention and support, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who earnestly seek the face of God, especially those absent from our assembly, that through the power of God's Holy Spirit, this community's faith, hope, and love may guide them to the revelation of God's grace and a deeper relationship with Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For inquirers,
Democratic Humans candidates, as well as candidates for confirmation and the reception of First Communion, that they may become sharers in the promise of Christ through the gospel. Preached and lit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each member of our faith community, that throughout this year we may grow in our love of God, make more manifest our love of others, and devote our entire being to becoming and making disciples, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially John Chartereno, Bob Christian, Mary Damacone, Danny Firth, Mike Firth, Daisha Furtney, Jeffrey Grismer, Julianne Jenkins, Dan Lane, Tom and Candy Burkowski, Sister Mercia Madigan, Becky Mishler, Agnes Moran, Dora Quatroki, Maggie Wright, Brooke Russell, Carol Staley, Katrina Shunk, Paula Simmons, John Von Gutten, Bob Wakeman, Lou Wells, Clara Whitus, Bishop Roost, that they may find comfort and strength in the care, prayer, and support of others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who followed the star of faith and walked by the light of Christ in this life, who have recently died, as well as Rosemarie Casanova, for whom this Mass is offered, and all our beloved dead, that joyfully entering heaven may behold God face to face. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and intentions that remain in the silence of our hearts and minds, those written in our prayer notes book, as well as those we've been asked to pray for through our renewal recommitment initiative. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. By the light of a star, O God of the universe, you guided the nations to the light of the world. Until this Redeemer comes again in glory, we with the Magi seek the face of the Savior. Summon us with all those who thirst now to the banquet of love. May our hunger be filled and our thirst be quenched with your word of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our offertory chant, we'd sing together, what star is this? And it's number 106.
goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed sacrificed and received Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. and power. 
powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when, through disobedience, he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful a part of joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that, bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, May this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> for 
now celebrate the memorial of our redemption. We remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There with the whole of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us. Our communion chant we sing together, We Three Kings, and it's number 105.
Let's pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. As always, we thank those giving up their time and talent to support your parish's mission and ministry. Uh, and they do that so well. And also those who give up the gift of treasure to support the parish's mission and ministry. Envelope users, do remember the collection boxes at the entrances of the church. Don't forget your bulletins. Take fives are also near the entrances of the church. There are calendars that remain, so have at it. Uh, if you need more, one in every room, or you need to give them to someone, whatever the case might be, they're on tables near the entrances of the church. Also, we had put together um, a, a flyer, if you will, um, information on the life and the history and the accomplishments of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Those may be found on tables also near the entrances of the church. Today is Sunday, as we all know, the Periscope Religion Preschool meets following this celebration over in the Paris Center. Uh, K, grades K through 8 are back at the high school um, following this session. Life Team meets tonight, grades 9 and 10, at 5 p.m. Tomorrow is the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. It brings an end to the season of Christmas. We will begin with 8.30 a.m. Mass, and we're still very excited at the fact that not only will we receive, but will we present at that time the relics of St. Manuel Gonzalez, Gonzalez Garcia and Blessed Carlo Acutis, as we've been talking about now for many weeks. They will be present not only for that liturgy, but throughout the day for prayer and veneration by the faithful. Church will be opened all day. Uh, it will also be a day of all-day exposition. So again, it's just a, a great opportunity to be in the presence of, of holy ones and certainly of the Lord who gives us the gift of himself in the Eucharist. We will close the day with evening prayer and benediction at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. It is important that we have individuals here throughout the day to, to act as, if you will, honor guards, certainly of the Eucharist and also of the relics. So if you've not yet had a chance to sign up to do that, it's a half hour slot. Please check the sign up sheets on tables near the entrances of the church. My friends, join with me as in the spirit of God's epiphany that we celebrate this day. We ask God's blessing on this chalk and us. May God, who provided a safe dwelling for the eternal word, bless this chalk, the homes of believers who will use this chalk to mark the entryways and the people who live there. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And there is a prayer of blessing that's contained in the envelopes in here. You know the routine. Um, so I need three people. Here's two. Okay, you head west. That's west. West is there. And you're going to head east. You're going to be right by that door. By that door. Okay. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Bow down to the blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, 
who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And let's sing the first Noel. It's number 110. We just sing verse 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> 